Pharaon, Pharaoh. Analysis of the solar eclipse scene. This analysis explores the solar eclipse scene in the film Pharaoh, directed by Jerzy Kawalerowicz. This scene was the only fragment of Pharaoh with a vertical composition that is very closely associated with the presence of the sphere of sacrum. This scene showed people attacking the temple and making attempts to climb huge statues erected on both sides of the temple's gate. This gave rise to a vertical panorama of the camera, showing Herhor, the high priest, standing on the roof between the pylons. In this scene, the sky was lit in a deep blue color thanks to the use of a polarizing filter, which introduced a symbolic reference to the Egyptians' beliefs about the heavenly abode of the gods. There were also three successive pairs of shots showing Herhor and the crowd gathered in the pit beneath the temple. These shots positioned the high priest between heaven and earth. Hence, Herhor was presented as the mediator between the world of gods and humans. Furthermore, the low-sounding voice of the god Osiris was given a reverberation suggesting it came from the metaphysical world. The voice gave Osiris the characteristics of a powerful ruler. In addition, the shots showing the events that took place during the eclipse were made on a black and white negative, which was later copied to color film. Cinematographer Jerzy Wojcik characterized this procedure as follows. At the moment of the eclipse, we stripped the world of color and gave light a different density, which is characteristic of an eclipse. This kind of lack causes anxiety in people, in everything that is alive. Shots of frightened people running around were interspersed with shots of frightened people within the crowd, giving the panic a humanized, personal dimension. Also, two long shots form the climax and conclusion of the eclipse scene. The first showed the events in the palace courtyard from the cameras at high position. It is also important to note that the sound design of the eclipse scene was subordinate to its drama. For example, the people shouted and reacted vividly to the priest's words, but when the solar eclipse began, the uproar turned into shouting and clamor. An intense wind was heard, creating an atmosphere of terror. Then the wind stopped when the eclipse was over. All that remained was the sound of the lamenting crowd. Something else that is significant about the solar eclipse scene is the portrayal of the silhouettes scattered across a large space. 
The silhouettes were reminiscent of the desert space covered with the bodies of the slain after the battle with the Libyan regiments. It evoked an imagery that told the audience pictorially that Harhor, the priest, won the battle. Oras ostati vesuham modlitve kapuanov bom jest miłosierny. Lastly, it is worthy to note that the shooting of the solar eclipse scene encountered unexpected difficulties. One of these was that there was an outbreak of dysentery among the several thousand strong regiment of Soviet soldiers who took part in the filming in the Kizilkum desert. In addition, Jerzy Kavalerowicz did not have the extras he needed to shoot the eclipse scene. However, the authorities in Bukhara, located 30 kilometers from the filming location, came to his aid. Work was stopped in several factories and the workers were brought to the film set as extras. Despite the challenges, the film was successfully completed.